Hi everyone, my name is Paul, and today I'm excited to dive into this game that I and so many others have loved for years and years. Ancient Domains of Mystery, or ADOM, is an unparalleled masterpiece in its scope, vision, and gameplay. You are a character in Encardia, a world invaded by the corrupting forces of chaos, which threaten to engulf all you know in darkness and death. There isn't much time left, and no one is coming to help. It has to be you. You are the only one who can save the world. Your failure would mean the end of civilization as you know it, and the brutal, agonizing death of everyone that you hold dear. So keep your wits about you, proceed with caution, and do everything in your power to survive and to do what must be done. To win this game, you can leverage hand-to-hand -hand combat, ranged combat, magic, and even use pets or undead slaves to do your bidding. Most likely, you're going to need a combination of all these things. The learning curve is high, and the game and its infamous RNG are hardly forgiving. There are a million and one ways to die. You've probably experienced a few already, and make no mistake, you'll experience many more. But this video is meant to help you avoid needless or reckless deaths, especially in the early game. For people seeing Adam for the first time, you are about to begin a thrilling adventure with countless trials and tribulations, but make no mistake, a victory in ADOM is a remarkable feat. For newer players, you have the ability to win. I will help you get out of the early and mid-game and prepare you with the knowledge you'll need to save Encardia. For experienced players, if you're still listening, my hope is that you'll get something useful from my playstyle. I don't pretend to be the best ADOM player the world has ever seen, but my resume includes four wins, an ultra lawful win, and an ultra balance win. If you have any tips for me, please do not hesitate to share them. So let's get started. See, that's what I'm talking about. See, what you want is the candle. So this means I heal faster, I get a free talent. Um, so if I'm going to do a specific, will be a male. Um, yeah, I love Drake Wings. I'm just going to do that. So Drake Wings are interesting because they have an acid spit ability, which means that you can get out of some, some issues early on. Now I'm going to pair that with, I wonder if I should just do like a fighter. Yeah, let's just do it. I'm a male Drakewing fighter. So, fighters are pretty straightforward. They like to fight with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. They can probably shoot ranged weapons with some um, skill. So, I also have that acid spit that I was talking about. Now, when it comes to talents, I like to get the treasure hunter skill, which I think, if you're finding more loot more potential for you to find something useful. So that always starts with B, alert. And then to unlock Treasure Hunter, you can see it doesn't show up the bottom there. You need to unlock it by selecting Miser as your second. So Drakeling, I'm a fighter. I'm just gonna go with Trex. Totally not trying to be a T-Rex. I'm just, I'm just gonna be Trex. So, I've got some armor, I've got a sword and a shield, and some meat, iron ration, 103 gold. Oof, I don't have healing or herbalism. That said, I do have healing as part of my um, star sign. So I am going to heal quite quickly. I'm not going to heal at the rate of like uh, someone who has the full healing skill which is tough, but I think I'm going to go and try and get herbalism to sort of round me out as a character. Now I'm skipping that beginner cave because it's garbage. I'm gonna go right to this town. This is what I recommend you do. There are three quests here that you should be getting. Um, so number one is this guy, if you talk to him, he'll give you a quest you can get the healing skill which I decided I will not have, because again, I was born in the month of the candle, which means that I am going to heal faster. So we've got Taiwat Pear, which is an anagram for Wide Earp, the sheriff. 
And he wants me to kill Cronach the Raider Lord. Okay. Now, since I've already played this before, I know that you have until level 6 to kill him. Otherwise, he runs away because he's a coward. Now there's this little girl. She lost a doggy. Um, and then lastly, this is the guy. Ooh, I have to eat this meat before it rots. Uh, you happen to be a lizard man, so it's not that much of an issue for me. So this druid, he's got a colleague that sucks. I know the feeling. Now, let's go ahead and defeat him. So yeah, now I've been in this town a short while. I mean, I, I knew who to, who to go and talk to, but I have three quests now. Um, the tiny girl, her dog will die very quickly. So I like to do that one first. The sheriff, if I can, I will go after the raider lord. However, his band of raiders... They use a lot of ranged weapons, and it can be deadly for early stage characters. So you really want to wait until you're about level 5 to go after him, or until you get some decent gear. The druid will chill there forever, so there's no time limit for him. So what I'm going to do now is go get some more food from my boy Monksip. He's got a munchies mall. Wow. You know his clientele around here. Okay, so these are 26 gold each. I think I've got enough for for three of them. I've got some rations. Okay, so the puppy cave is up here. So the first thing I actually like to do is I like to track all this. So I'm a Candleborn, Drakeling, uh, what am I again? Drakeling fighter. I never pick fighter. This is going to be interesting. Uh, and then my talents were alert and miser. And my first kill. I have not yet made one, but it is important to keep track of that. Okay. So you can actually change position with any monster that's not hostile. Uh, so I did that because I don't want to kill an orc. For your first kill, you really want to kill something that's a little bit uncommon. Um, I can get into that later. Are you kidding me? Uh, so now I am unarmed. I have no scimitar. I was just damaged by like 18 points, which is just, just lovely. Is this going to kill me? Is it going to kill him? Yep. But as you can see, I am healing pretty swiftly. That's a hobgoblin. Leave me alone, pal. I don't want to kill you either. Don't make me. I'm going to go into coward mode. I just want to get away. Yeah, I'm in a bad place right now. As if you couldn't already tell, I'm unarmed. Hey, maybe they'll... Oh, he avoided it. Wait, the trap disappeared. Okay. Looks like we're all going this way together. Still ain't killing anybody. Ooh, there's a weapon. Crap. Great, my first kill was a cobalt. That is that is rough, man. Okay. Anybody get a weapon for me? Yeah, this is far from ideal. Hobgoblins are edible. Cobalts are not. Do not eat them. You will be sick. Eh, I'll put some boots on. Probably, actually, no. It's not a great habit to just shuffle my stuff around, my gear around. Okay. Secret door. Hmm. Okay. So, if you need to find a secret door... You just kick the wall. OK. 
because sometimes it hurts and sometimes it really hurts. Whoops, I was pressing the wrong thing. There you go. <sighs> this puppy cave is way more trouble than I remember. I just am trying. That's a teleportation trap. I just know that's going to teleport if I get the dog. It's just going to ruin everything. And of course, who's in there? I don't even know what I killed. Let's get some fine weakness up in here. I need to dodge better. What else is going to be helpful for me? Wow, I am so barely literate. We can deal with that later, though. Let's go with athletics. So when you're choosing statistics here, or not statistics, when you're choosing skills, basically you've got die values on the right, and then you've got your max just to the left of that. So you can see where you're at. Like for example, if we go to literacy, my value is four, but right now my max is 15. It's gonna roll three die five, so I can get either plus three, anywhere from between plus three to plus 15. So you try to have like, a range where you can maximize the amount you can get out of a skill by choosing it. <coughs> so that's what I was, I mean, I, with the first really skill choice, doesn't really matter because everything's kind of open, but this should come into play more as we level up, if we can survive, because right now I literally just have a knife. Oh, great. Oh, this is terrible. I need to try and do some damage to this guy. Okay. Okay, I already have a shield, so I don't need that, but... Ugh. How badly do I need another weapon? Badly. Very, very badly. Alright, so alertness helps you dodge magic, and that's very helpful. I am actually going to put one into literacy. I want to be doing more critical hits, which is find weakness. So I'll do the, oh, that was terrible roll. Um, and then also athletics. Wow, these are all terrible. Okay, see now Treasure Hunter has made itself available to me. So what I'm going to do is write that down as my next talent. Oh, now if someone could please drop a weapon for me, that would be extremely helpful. Ooh, a blanket. Those are very useful. There's a chance it will be fireproof or waterproof, and those are both great. You see that? Stone block drops from the ceiling, and I barely evaded by jumping backwards. That very well could have killed me. Those deal... Those can deal 40 plus damage, depending on uh, on I, a few different factors, I would imagine. Probably your defensive value and protection value and all that. Giant centipede. Guy can poison me. Ooh, a stone axe. All right, it's not cursed. Basically, if you can remove something from your hand, it's not cursed, because cursed things will stay there forever. But now we have an actual weapon, which is good. Stone weapons also don't deteriorate. I'm going to pick these up just because why not? Stone weapons don't deteriorate if you are fighting jellies, which can be helpful. So I'm showing some terrible habits right now. You're supposed to open doors from diagonally above or below them. I don't really need to kill any extra things because I don't want to level up too much before I have a chance to go after that raider. What is with this? Like, everywhere I go, 
there is a secret door hiding somewhere. I don't think it's in this room. I think it's in the other room, way over there. If you look at the mini map, you can kind of tell where the edges are. Everything will be in that map. So, come on, don't die. Okay, find weakness I definitely want. I'm going to need literacy. Seriously? Oh, these rolls are awful. And then let's go with some more dodge. Because so I need to live. So you can just see, if you look down at the mini-map, the bottom right, there's a big black space here. It's very likely that the door is going to be either at the top or here or at the bottom. There it is. Once you play this game a while, you can kind of tell, or you have a, a spidey sense for where secret doors would be. Ooh, Arabia. What's this? Brown potion. Okay, die. Okay, I would love to find There's a gush of water. Lovely. <gasps> There's the stairs. Now that was relatively painless. Now, a distant wind, that means there's a vortex on this level, which is deadly. Level 5. Dangerously close to scaring away the raider. I have to do it before I reach level 6. If I get to level 6, he will leave. Now, I'm going to go with Find Weakness, because it's fantastic. Athletics, and also Alertness. Claw Bugs will decrease your willpower and increase your dexterity. I do not need that, so I'm going to just ignore it. Um, okay, is there a puppy in here? There's a puppy. Oh, this is fantastic. Let's get the heck out of here. Seriously, sometimes the puppy tries to pick fights and it's like, no, bad dog. Come on, puppy, get over here. Okay, now we are going all the way back. How do I get out? It's this way. Oh, crap. Okay, puppy, go. Let's run. Run. Run from the bugs. I'm so lucky that the dog decided to come with me. God, die. Ah, <sighs> wow. There were a lot of obstacles here, and the, this might be the next one. Oh, thank goodness. So I'm very pleased that the puppy was not teleported somewhere random, where it could have died to some random creature on this first level. So... The orc decides to follow me too. Wonderful. See, there we go. I'm a hero. It's a thankless job. All right, there's a there's a raider lord. How much gold do I have? 101. Let me go buy some more food, and then typically the wilderness is trash, and you want to spend as few days there as you can. Um, I'm hungry. I don't have that much money. Come on, man. I'll sell you this sausage. 
There we go. So I've got seven large rations. Nope, can't do that. Here he is, a group of roving raiders. Now the first thing they're going to do is try and shoot me full of arrows. So go into coward. Now when you're in the wilderness, the first thing you want to do is get to the edge. So you can run away if you need to. Now this is the edge. See if I try and go up, ask me if I want to flee. So when you position them like this, they can't surround you. Ugh, there we go. There's Kronach himself. That is bad. Damn. So, there's a tough choice here. I think I've been bested. As you can see, there's a space between me and the raiders, which means I can run. If I do, I will never see the raider lord again, but I'll survive. That's sad. Although, am I sure that I'll never see him again? Oh, there's bandits. Ugh. Garbage. I need some new gear. Ah. Uh, wow. I didn't know I was raising such a coward. But it is what it is. You know what this calls for? So, I'm curious if I went and I talked to, uh, what's his face, the sheriff, if he would have told me that the guy ran away or, like, left or that I can't find him anymore because I ran away. Um, so I'm not sure how that, if that's a thing, but now I'm going to go and actually try and gain some levels and some, some gear. And I'm going to do that in the same place that I found the puppy. Die. You know what? Screw it. I just need a missile weapon at this point. And it's not cursed. Yay. So the centipede. I am trying to kill either like a centipede or a spider so I can get the body have a disgusting meal that will result in me gaining poison resistance. Alright, so we are level 6 now. <clears throat> we need some literacy up in here. We're going to go with find weakness and dodge. I swear I'm getting the worst rolls of all time. Okay, as far as a Another talent tree. I think so. You can either go in the direction of like hardy to very hardy, etc., etc., and get a ton of hit points. You could do quick and then very quick and then grease lightning and be, you know, a little bit faster. I think I'm actually going to go with the good shot, which is G, which is like the missile tree, missile weapons. So I'm going to do that. Good shot. I'm just going to write that down. So at level 5, saved cute dog. And also, level 5, ran like a coward. Crunch. Oh, depressing. What kind of fighter is this? <laughs> Well, he's a living one for now. It's 
So typically if you shoot an enemy that's running away, they'll turn around, they'll try and take you out. Instead of you having to chase them all over the place. Okay. So on the puppy level, short swords are garbage. Uh, on the puppy level, there is a vault, or it's called a lesser vault. And you'll know it when you see it. So I'm just going to explore a little bit. Pick up these rocks because I've got a sling. Might as well. Really. Short spear. So none of these weapons really strike me as something I want to play like weapon roulette with. Because anything could be cursed and then you're stuck with it for some time. Not forever. Just got to find an altar. Ooh, I just remembered that it said there was a distant wind, which means that there's a vortex on this level. You can see it keeps popping up. And okay, that's locked. That is a rattling duelist. You know what? I think that this is a random vault, which means I am leaving. Yep. Metal cap, that looks good. That looks like mithril. Yep, this guy. Why are you so fast? Ugh. And strong. Jeez. This dude's going to kill me. Is this just like the weakest fighter in, in existence? Oh, come on. That is precisely. See, the funny thing is, like I was just saying, you can't take off a cursed item but a duelist can disarm you, so there's that. There goes my rapier. Crap. I have to go the other way. Oh my god, I made a terrible mistake. Oh, he's using the rapier. I can hear it. It's a different sound. Oh, I have a chance to run away. Get off the stairs. Oh, God. I have to get away from these bugs. Man, this is the weakest, weakest fighter I've ever played. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Well, if my idea of a survival series was showing you how to run away from things, then I'd say this is pretty successful. Because that's all this guy can do. Okay, that was a terrible failure. Yeah, if you leave, you can see he's gone for good. So I just have that druid quest. The druid quest was more dangerous than both the other quests. So not exactly looking so great for me here. So, I'm going to eat a large ration, go to this outlaw settlement just because, hey, I'm a tough guy like you, yeah, step off me, bro, you can't hang with me, 
All right, there might be a mimic in here, so I'm gonna go to coward. The shop is really just helpful for identifying some things. So we've got a scroll familiar summoning, which I could get a little friend if I wanted to. A scimitar, shell armor, bone, six arrows. Hey, I might actually buy these. Slow poison, archery gloves. See, everything is extremely overpriced in this place, but for some reason, six arrows for 24 gold. I'm just going to do it anyway. So a bandit corpse makes me a little uneasy, but it makes me a little less hungry. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bandit. Okay, we've got a short bow, we've got some arrows. Now we in business. Perfect for a cowardly fighter like me. Alright, Mr. Yurgis. I'll train with you, teach me how to pick pockets. See, now I have this pickpocket skill at number N, letter N, and it's at 1. So if I pick some pockets, I think... Like, why is there grass in here? Is that, just, is that weird? Is that just me? There's grass in here, too. Is, are you in, like, a stable? What the hell? Anyway, this town, this, there's some nasty enemies here. You don't want to just, like, go attack everybody. It's a bad move. So, there's a big old river. I just went south of it. So if you can get past the pyramid to this like ridge line, if you just follow this, here's an actual dungeon. Now this is the main dungeon. Now I'm trying to get to a specific town. That's kind of where the game takes off, but also I'm just weak as hell and I need some gear and might as well explore the necessary dungeon while I'm looking for gear. Oh, a glockenspiel. Wonderful. Big old piece of musical instrument that I don't need. Just gonna take all the stuff, take all the stuff. So I can almost guarantee that there is a secret door on this level. Just if you look at the mini-map, there's a whole section that hasn't been explored. Yeah, the goblin does not sit well with me. It's probably undercooked. Well, I'm a lizard dude. I eat it raw. So ghouls, they can paralyze you. So I should have probably attacked him with a ranged attack first. I don't think it's on that top side. I think it's in this other room. Hey, don't shoot me. That ain't cool. There it is. Light furs are garbage. Huge rock. No thanks. Here's a spear. See, if I just wanted to go find that town, I would do it, but the problem isn't that I'm not at the town. The problem is that I suck. Now, here's something fun. You can actually sacrifice people to your gods. Now, if you look down in my bottom right, I have neutral plus. So I'm close to being lawful, but I'm not. And this is a neutral altar, which means... I could sacrifice any creature on it that's chaotic or lawful. So 
If you try and sacrifice a neutral creature to a neutral god, they will be mad. Now the exception is a chaotic god will just eat anything, they don't care. Um, but what I can do here is first close the door, take off all my stuff, and I'm just going to drop it all. Okay. It's also a bad habit to stand on altars. Pretty much the only one you need to be worried about is the chaotic one. Yes, I have been sacrificed to someone else's god before. It's not fun. Um, so I've got some crappy, crappy weapons. I'm just going to stick with the stone axe. Like, what the hell? Uh, I'll keep the shield. I don't have any rings. Ooh, that one actually is useful. I'll wear those gloves. We've got... I'll use the short amount of arrows first. So, now that I know that there's a, an altar here, so I would put D2, altar. I usually signify which kind it is. I should also mention that Puppy Cave 6 is random vault, ran away from duelist and vortex. I'm telling you, there's a vortex there, but we didn't see it. So why it's important to listen to what the game is telling you. The distant wind. If you're at low level, they're bad. And especially acid and lightning can do like 100 damage to you if they explode. So run away from them. All right, so I think that's, that's it that I need to put in my notes. It's great that there's an altar there. Ooh, a key. Keys are always good. Always pick up keys. And bats taste like chicken. Throw some barbecue sauce on that. I mean, I am a lizard, man. I'm going to eat whatever I want. Okay. All right, we cleared this level. On to the next. Getting some, picking up some stuff. So, uh, we are in the arena level. You can see that this room smells like the dungeon of an arena, which I can't imagine smells good at all. So, ooh, spider. Nope, don't want any worm. Cooked lizard. Yes, I want everything you can. Did you at least sell me what I can afford? You suck, man. Alright, I'm going to give you a name. Yep. I just want to make sure you're the right one. Yeah. Okay, so we've got you. Roach? Nah, we don't. We ain't about that life. They're both roach sellers. Find weakness. Dodge. Oh, I picked the wrong one, but archery still works. Halfling cake. Sometimes you gotta treat yourself. See, bats are edible, but they you have to eat a ton of them. Whereas the lizards, the lizards are good stuff. No. Plus, I eat that for free. Tastes like pork. Delicious. Rat tail. Are you like a cannibal rat? Both of you. The rebel. I don't have time for you. We just have one lizard salesman? That is tragic. I'm tempted just to murder all of you. Rat tail. Rat okay, what's this middle guy? Bat. These idiots. Bats. 
roach, roach. Y'all have terrible food. So this dude is the arena master. He's kind of a jerk, but I need some money to buy food. And the first ones are pretty easy. I mean, my character is so weak right now that it's like terrible. But if you fight in here, you get gold, which is nice. I'm just a gladiator living my gladiator life. Ooh, an axe. Ooh, a shield. I feel like eventually I'll get to pick this stuff up. Ah, oh, what the? How is it so heavy? Okay. How many more fights? 11 more? See, I can take these losers for now. Would have loved to get a corpse out of that. Let's just not tell anyone about this. It's just for the glory. Okay. Ouch. There you go. You deserve it. Yeah, seriously. The first 15 fights you can get through, even if you're a weakling and like Trex. Oh, god damn it. Do I have anything I can do to get rid of this? This loser. Ugh. Now this is just tragic. And apparently my guy's too dumb to realize he just killed a cat. So, you can see I've killed a cave lion. It's not what you want. Ideally, you don't kill any cats. Um, oh, what a hassle. So, I was forced to kill a cat by this sadistic piece of garbage named Dak, the arena master. He seems peaceful, whatever. I know your true colors. Oh, you all suck. I, I named the Lizzie for a reason. Oh, that's it's all you have? You have 30? Oh, my goodness. I, I should just murder all of you. I am a very anger-prone lizard man. Lizards eat rats. Don't forget this. I'm just going to clear it. Could always use extra loot. Orc. Like bloody pork. Ooh. Another goddamn. I already killed one. Don't matter anymore. I mean, I think it does actually matter. Like, the more cats you kill, the worse it is for you when you eventually run into Mr. Cat Lover. But, yeah. The chances of this character actually surviving far enough to get there is very low. Now we have a nice shop. So D4, random shop. Tower Mithril Shields. How much gold do I have? I might buy that. Ooh, a Mimic. Okay, he, you see that he paralyzed me. Oh my god. Can you not though? Oh. 
How am I going to kill this damn Mimic? This guy sucks. How's this large shield? Okay, it's not cursed. I could have just went back and whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm convinced this dude's just going to die. Drax. Heal me. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, time to try and kill this mimic again. <sighs> if there was literally one other monster, I would have died because he would have paralyzed me and they would have just gone to town on me. So we've got a scroll of uncursing. We've got this chain mail that I never want to put on. 18 pearls. But I mean, yeah. Plus we've got a scroll of uncursing and a scroll of identify. Now just the mere fact that we know what those look like now is enough. And I know that they're going to be in here. So what I'm going to do, what level is this? D4. D3 is arena level. Ooh, wow. Wow, it's a Monday. D4, random shop. And they have a scrolls of uncursing and identify. Eh, that's going to make it seem like there's multiples. There we go. Now, do I just put this on? I mean, I already played. Yep. I already played Shield Roulette earlier. See, now that's a pretty hefty advantage to my defensive value. Raccoon. So, I'm just trying to survive to Dwarf Town. I will pick this up and fight that ghoul. So yeah, I typically stay on aggressive, which makes it actually easier to hit me, or you can, no. I prefer to go aggressive or defensive. So I just usually swap between those two. If I really need to run away, I go to cowardly. If I really need to kill something, I'll go to berserker. Great, that goes all the way here. Let's just clear this level. Great, this jelly, you oversized blob of gelatin. Thank goodness. So that's not one of the jellies that will corrode your weapons. Those are more like the oozes. So this is a lizard that you can hit. If it's changing colors, do not hit it. Because that will give you a curse. And the door exploded. I lost some arrows, and there's a bunch of rats in here. Okay, so I need some literacy, so I'm going to do two of those, and also, let's go with find weakness. My god, the worst die rolls in history. So whenever you're facing multiple enemies, you want to back into a hallway so you can face them one at a time. Ah, whoops. Just a bunch of rats and giant rats.
Now this is actually quite a haul. We've got gold, we've got food, bracers, and a wand. A large shield and a green gem. Now, we're talking. Find weakness increases, food preservation increases. This guy's dead. Okay, my giant rat corpse is rotting, but I'm just going to eat it. All good. You can eat rotten food, no problem. Some bread. You can see I'm strained now. So what I want to do is eat this large ration. Get rid of some extra weight. Get rid of that. I'm not going to use this shield because it's garbage. Gained a little toughness, which is nice. See, that's what's so great about identifying the scroll of uncursing. Now I picked up my own. That's another monster, the carrion crawler, that will um, you know paralyze you if it hits you. So it's not ideal to fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat when you're as weak as this loser Trex is. Watery potion. Wonder what you can guess that one will be. Okay, we're on D6. I just need to get to. Oh. Wow, what an idiot. So, luckily, I missed the lizard, which means I did not get cursed. But, yeah, not great. I really have no more ammo for that. Eat these rocks. Oh, cave tiger, come on. Ugh. Definitely wanna, there we go. You gotta hit the Karmic Lizard with ranged weapons. Which is why I went into Berserk to get a little extra damage. And I was able to defeat it even though I made a horrible mistake of hitting it. Or trying to. Great. That is a Fire Vortex and he is coming in hot. Okay, if that was a lightning or an acid vortex, I would be dead. But it was just fire, and I was able to ride it out. It's important to get elemental protections as soon as you can. The easiest way to do that is by eating dead bodies of the foes you vanquish. Fire beetle being the easiest low-level option. And then for um, acid resistance, it's the, the ants. You want to eat one of the ants. Okay. I'm going to just try and clear all these levels down to the dwarf. The dwarf hall. Saber. I mean, I'm, I'm still kind of like searching for a good weapon, so I'm just going to pick it up. Whatever. Is there anything garbage in here that I can ditch? Oh, this guy is just weak. He just can't hold much stuff, I swear. Trex, you are a disgrace to your clan. Okay, we are in the big room. If 
fire lizard also a good a good bet okay rust monsters are annoying so you can stabilize herbs if you can get them to where they have three out of like a four like a two by two if they have three out of four they will begin to survive and create more herbs so I know that there are herbs in the big room which is why I'm trying to go and make sure they're all stable okay so literacy is a no-go, it only gives me two before the max. Find weakness is also a terrible um, modifier, only one die five to increase that. So I'm going to go with something else. I'm going to go with athletics, two of those, and also archery because I need some help there. And I ain't afraid to admit it. Okay, so now I'm looking at the skills that I can have. Not a whole lot of choices, and I can't see any to really continue with the archery line. So instead, I'm going to go with quick. Well, what, what level am I at right now? D7. Wooden ring could be promising. There's a girdle. Brown bear. Okay. Got a potion of water out of it. Where are all the herbs at? Ooh. Please stop shooting me with things. <sighs> wow. Since I don't know what these do, I kind of have to guess. Well, I hope the good stuff was up there. I shouldn't have eaten anything, because now if there's a corpse that is good for me, this guy corrupted me a few times, which is not great. I didn't even notice, but uh, the archer was killed by a stream of acid right here. Great. Put in a little work. There's a full-on demon. Oh, yeah, let's leave you alone. Oh, man, just leave me alone, pal. Another wooden ring. Okay, I already have one up here. So if I take this out, take this out, we stabilize that. Take this out, stabilize that. Oh, okay, so now I'm a little, uh, I'm hitting a little harder, huh? Okay, Displacer Beasts are still annoying. Okay. Let's not pressure my luck here. I'm going to run away. Ooh. Okay, 
Run, run. Okay, we're going to run away from that troll. So I thought I was all that, but I'm not. So I'm going to run. Okay, we're just going to run to town. Screw it. Ooh, what are you? Saber. Now that looks interesting. What the hell? Mirrors with distortions of my warped self. Lovely. Okay. So this is Dwarf Town. I mean, I made it here at level 9. Um, I do not feel strongly about this character's potential, but he is still alive. And since I, when I came in here, I was neutral. This is a neutral altar. If you're lawful, it will be a lawful altar. And if you're chaotic, it will be a neutral altar. And if you convert it, it will make people mad at you. But let me go ahead and just sacrifice a little gold piece here. Um, let's sacrifice 100 more. So ideally, you want your god to be very pleased. So I'm going to sacrifice 200 more. And now he, she, it, very pleased, which means when I drop water, it will become holy water. So what I'm going to do here is just drop everything that is not identified. And... Okay. Money is not, never identified, so don't worry about that. So I've got a metal cap that sucks. So I could... Okay, whatever, I'll just put some stuff on. Okay, metal girdle. We have no amulets or anything. We've got no cloaks. As far as a weapon, what is this? It's garbage. Saber. But here's what I'm looking for. Okay. Now you see that. That is a nice weapon. That is a balanced Eternium Saber. Okay. Um, I take back what I said about this character having no potential. For me to have a balanced Eternium Saber at level 9? Now we're talking. Large Mithril Shield. So see when I said I'm a more of a PV player than a, than a DV player? You can see that these are very close. The large versus the mithril, or the tower. Now I'm going to go with large because it gives me an extra point of protection value. So I'm going to choose that one. And then I've got these rings. I think they're rings of fire resistance, which is why they're made out of wood. I've got braces of speed. Yep, that's useless. So we've got some herbs that I can rub on myself or squeeze in the air, do whatever. We'll find out more of them, more about them later. But this is this is nice now. Now I ooh, it's a writing set in there. That's also interesting. So I do just want to heal up before I go in there in case there's a mimic. Now this is Dwarfy Master Uno. Now he's gonna give me some quests if I ask him. Uh, we've got some other flavor stuff in here. There's a nice, this is like a secret. Maybe I'll show you later. We've got this dude, Demented Rattling. He's kind of important for specific things. We've got a, a barkeep. What's this guy? Want nail for a gold piece? I'll do it. Oh, he gives me a little clue. To say, they say that the secret to becoming a chaos god is hidden in the Dracular chain. You know, you might be onto something. Okay, you're uh, kind of boring these days. There's the downstair. This is where it gets. This is where it gets real. Now, this dude teaches you smithing. You can also fix your broken stuff. Ooh, yeah. And then this guy in this big old room here, he is Garth the Trainer, Dwarven Weapon Master. So you can pay him 
to raise your scores. So you can see here in your attributes, you have a current score and a max score. As long as your current is below your max, you can pay this guy and it'll help you train it, which means that eventually it will go up. So this is extremely useful for things like toughness. Um, now, I forget exactly how much I have to spend, but I think if I just give this guy, um, so with, I think from 10 to 15 or 11 to 15, if you do like 1501 gold, it's enough. And then I think when it's 16 to 20, I think you got to double it. So it would be 3201 to get from 16 to 17. There's a whole thing on it. I would recommend Googling it. But basically, I'm just going to say training's good for you. I'm going to press T, train toughness, and I'm going to pay him 1501. And I think that's enough to make my toughness go up eventually. So, now the last thing I'm going to do before I call it here is just take a look at what good old Waldenbrook has in his shop. Ooh, Skrgari of Returning. This is interesting. I might, I could be interested in that. Brass Bracer is useless. Another Scroll of Uncursing. Blue Leather, useless. Boost Speed, very interesting. Writing Set, great, but not for a fighter. Adamantium Broadsword. Now, if I didn't have this Eternium Sword, that would look real nice. Blue Dragonhide Gauntlets. Now, that is helpful because that has... Ooh, that is good. I will pay for that gladly. And I'm just going to drop it on here. So, blue Dragonhide Gauntlets give you resistance to shock and electricity, which is very, very useful. So, I'm pleased. I don't know how I survived the early game with this coward. Um... But yeah, Trex is, he's made it to Dwarf Town. He's got some sweet gear. Ooh, see that? It was enough to increase my toughness. So my health increased. And you can see that now my toughness is 16 instead of 15. So I could go back and give him 3,201. And then eventually it would go up to 17. So very useful to have the trainer. But yeah, this is... I mean, look at that. The Balance Attorney and Saber. This guy's got some, uh, he's got a little bit of potential here. It's very interesting. Maybe I'll have to keep this guy going. All right, Trex, it was, it was wonderful to survive, kind of, with you. Um, but yeah, I may have to keep this going. I'm not sure if that would be helpful for some people to see how, I mean, I'm only level nine. So when we're saying get out of the mid game, like, there are some other quests that I don't necessarily need to spoil right this second. But, um, yeah, level 9 by no means is out of the early game. So, hopefully this, hopefully you got some tips and tricks out of how to keep your people alive, even if it just means running away or you know, different combat tricks that you can do, just like standing in the doorway, not really fighting people in groups. And then in the wilderness, making sure you're by the edge, you can run away, which we had to do twice with this little, what used to be a weakling. <laughs> Probably still is, but we'll get there. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Take care. And, because apparently that's what snake people say. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about anything else you'd like to see in the videos, please let me know in the comments below. And make sure you check out the rest of the Early Game Survival Guide. Trex out.